Shalom, shalom, Israel, most high in Christ. Bless, happy Sabbath. Can you hear me? Because I can't see me. Shalom, Tazara, Savannah, Lamar, Erica, Ziona, Zaira, Deborah, Lasonia, Sis Dean, El Israel, Millie Israel, Tabitha Israel, Mr. Summit, Chayale Israel, Facebook, Nabia, Quell, Robin Davids, Genevieve Morris, Tomiko Sanchez, Michelle McFarlane, The New Fig Tree, Havala Tamila, Sarkoa, Divine Sunflower, Sari Middleton, Hewlett M. Eden, Valadon, uh, Dre T. L. Ridgely, Janina, Janina Israel, Konami, Anaya, Araya, Hananaya, Zabuda, Mahalalil, Rebecca Israel, Judah Lady, Abigail, O.K., K. Rich, Araya, Ari, Israel, Havala, Tamala, Israel, Oseas, Ben, Israel, Most High Christ, Bless, Happy Sabbath, it's a go. Um, thank you guys for your support, for your dedication, for your patience. Uh, we do this show late, and you brothers and sisters stay up and you wait, and... Um, there's a lot going on behind the scenes that you don't see that take place to make this happen for the brothers to come here and set up and wait. And um, when I put the shows together, it's I wait for things to happen in the week and then I address them. So I'm a lot of time just last minute and um, I'm trying to get things together. I'm trying to get people together. And um, somehow it all comes together. This is one of those shows where I don't want to do it, but I have to do it. Because you all know Volcan Malone, y'all watched him, how he tried to exploit our Passover. He tried to shame the bishop, and we cleared everything up. And the public knows, everybody sees it. Uh... Even in Clubhouse, it was brought up in Clubhouse. If y'all go back to Clubhouse, I think it was Wednesday. You know, uh, a listener brought it up because it's circulating on social media because uh, Vocamalone went to Sarnetta, who don't believe in the Bible, who don't keep the Passover, and Vocab don't keep the Passover. But it was a big deal to tarnish us and tarnish what we were doing to get views. That's all this is about. This is about him following us around and attacking us to get views. This is not about following Christ. This is not about a uh, believer in God. Their whole mission is to destroy us and attack us. And we don't mind it because Christ said that that was going to happen. When he warned us in Matthew chapter 24, uh, he shall be hated. And we don't mind the hate. We embrace the hate. And, um, as always, whenever we get confronted with a situation, I'm going to make it educational for you with the words of God, and I'm going to also display our posture on how to deal with these things, where we stand with these things. Um, you guys have watched year after year after year slander and lies from the black Hebrew Israelite community, from the entities that are against us. Uh, to disgruntled members, you've watched it. You've watched me confront it and deal with it. On the front line, ready to go, time and time again. That's why this show was labeled Friday Night Raw. That's why this audience is here. If y'all want the truth, I'm going to bring you the truth. Okay? We can't have the bishop and all the other dynamic teachers divert to defend. Okay? Uh I like that. Divert to defend. We can't have that. All right? Um, so, but we need a platform where we could address the lies, we could confront them head on, and we could give you people clarity. 
Okay? I don't mind the lies coming out. I, I wake up looking for them every day. I go to sleep looking for the liars every day. Y'all know how I get down. Okay, I don't back away from no liar. I don't back away from no slander. Okay, I want that work. Send me that work. Okay? I'm always looking for work to distribute to you people who think that you're going to one-up us on something. Um, we've always met the slander. We've always met the lies head on. And in the end, the truth always comes out. Uh, how many people here are new, meaning this is your first time here? Type N for new. If you've never been here, type N for new. If you've been here, don't type anything. Do not type anything if you've been here before. But if this is your first time, type N, the letter N for new. Okay, we got Mel. Lisa. Okay, not too many new people. Good, 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 good. So I could go in. I just don't like when the new people come here and they're curious, they want to see what this is about, and they don't understand that this class is different from all the other classes that we do throughout the week. I deal with the controversy, I deal with the drama, and I bring it to your mama. So a lot of people are not ready for that. Uh, so Netta is the biggest instigator. Yes, and you know what's sad, Mr. Summit? that these black Hebrew Israelites keep going to him, they saying that they're going to him to expose the Israelite community to the world. And why they camps ain't growing? Why there's not a whole bunch of people, they go and they get views and views and views, and then you look at their camp, you, you look like it, it did nothing. All Sarnetta did was accumulate information from them to attack us now and attack the Bible. Remember, he brought, uh, what's the African dude's name again? Um... Polite, he shot up the Bible on there. His whole platform now is to argue. He will bring people on there. At one time, his uh, platform was popular, but now everything is an attack on the Bible. And that's the way the Bible said it was going to be. In the last days, everything is going to be about this Bible. I've been watching this evolve. And every Israelite goes to him like he's an authority, or they go to vocab, and we've turned down Sarnet, and we've turned down vocab, and we will continue to do so. We build our own platform on our own merit. We don't need the views. We don't need the exposure from them, okay? Because we're about the Lord's business. So, um, like I said, we're not worried about that. Y'all can send all the heat this way, all right? Y'all can send all the heat and I have work. I will give you that work. Um, so, we got to address this uh, issue here because there was a woman that left her husband a year ago and did a video. She went to Vocab Malone and did a video. I'm free from black Hebrew Israelites. I left and now here we are a year and change later Vocab called her up to do another video against us. And the problem with our people is their memory is short and they'll forget. So I have to refresh your memory to let you know what's going on. The only difference with tonight is I have a special invited guest and we're going to call. We're going to call him in. We're going to let him speak and you're going to get clarity. You're going to see, hear both sides of the argument. You're not just going to hear this woman crying to vocab Malone to try and garner support and sympathy from the world, we're going to get the truth tonight. And we're going to let the public decide who's telling the truth and who's a liar. Okay? I don't have to lie. If every time we get met with uh, 
issues in the Israelite community, what do I do? I go live and direct. I bring everybody in and I let them talk. We don't have nothing to hide. And that's why this or that's why y'all wait for me at this hour to come on. Because y'all know y'all gonna get the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help me God. <laughs> so um Okay, I just saw another new. Now we got three ends. Uh, but I'm, at the same time, you're going to learn a lot. Trust me, you're going to learn a lot. Uh, you can I have a question, please. Do we have to be an official IUIC member to be able to attend IUIC events? Miss Easy Ellis. For the safety of our families, we don't allow people in who we've never seen before. So someone has to know you. If we just let people, like when we do an event, like for instance, Passover, uh, if, if people treat this like the uh, Christian church, they don't go to church all year, but they go Easter, they go Mother's Day, uh, they go New Year's. We don't have the facilities that the Christian church has to deal with so much people, okay? Uh, Christ says we shall be hated. So our uh, protocol for allowing people in is stricter in the Christian church. Nobody hates the Christian church. Nobody wants to harm them. Us as Israelites, just women, children, babies here, we have to protect them. So we're not just going to let strange will come into our facilities whenever an event takes place and that's what happens with the black you know how black people are they only show up for the barbecue you don't see them all year but they came for a plate so again uh with respect to the people who've been coming all year round because it'll get overcrowded because all these new people come in people are looking like who's this person they've never been here and so we only let people into the events because they're so large that we know, that we trust, and they're devout members. But we like to open our doors and let everybody come in like the Christian church does? Yes, but they do that for money. They know, look at all these people. We're not going to stop them at the door. Look at all these tithes come in. We don't collect tithes. People come to our events for free. Okay, so a lot of people like to play Israelite online. But then when an event comes, it's just like the Passover. We had to cut it off. It was thousands of people there, thousands upon thousands. I couldn't uh, uh, be able to maneuver through the crowd. I felt bad. So many people wanted to come up to me. So many people wanted to take pictures. I did as much as I could, but it was just, I would have been there for two days trying to greet every single person and take pictures with every single person. So that's your question, Ms. Ellis. As I said before, people have to know you. And a lot of times, people just want to pop up to an event, and then we never see them again. And uh, same thing with the Passover. People were coming up to the door to an event that there's a capacity limit. If the place only holds 10,000, the fire marshal will cut it off when they see that we go over the number. Okay, and a lot of times people pop up and they will exceed the number and the whole event will be shut down because they're only in the moment for that moment. So most of the places, like Swa said, we want to get our own spot. The venue only holds a certain amount of people. We have them registered. We've been logging them six months in advance. And then if the venue holds 10,000 people, another thousand pop up. They, I'm an Israelite. You're not going to let me in. I just came here to serve God. They have heard it all. Where were you all year? Why are we just seeing you right now? And then they go to social media. IUIC turned me away. They wouldn't let me in. And everybody goes with the rhetoric. But as usual, that's why we have Friday Night Raw. Because I am always ready to straighten those things out. Uh, Daughter of Zion, I got my picture. Good, good, all praises. And like I said, uh, we opened the online class here 
because a lot of wisdom goes out online. You can never ever say that you were in an online class and you didn't learn nothing. You learn more in the hours sitting with us watching online that you did your whole life in the Christian church. None of you could ever say, I didn't learn anything. I don't know nothing. Because we don't play church. We bees the church. Okay? And like I said, that's why you guys are here. You know every time you come here, you're going to learn something. So what this about a 14-year-old forced to get married? Bring that down. Bring that down. Where is that? What are you talking about, Samuel? What you talking about a 14-year-old marriage? The, the legal age that we have, according to the Bible, is 20. And we've never married a 20-year-old. So what do you mean, what's this about a 14-year-old forced to get married? Where did you get that from? Did you get that from social media? Did you get that from lies and you brought that here? Did you get that slander and that lie that you just posted here? Okay, so I just finished telling you, Vocal Malone is a liar. And did they say what group that the 14-year-old that the was with? Because that's illegal. And we don't break any laws according to the land. You are a supporter of Vocal Malone, and whatever he says, you bring it here, and you bring it here, you're going to get embarrassed. Anything that that white man says to slander us, you, re you do it and you come here. How come we're not in the news? How come you never saw nothing? You just saw a clip of Vocal Malone, and now you're here asking us about it. Did you see Israel United in Christ in the news for forcing a 14-year-old to get married? Okay, this is the reason why this platform exists. Because people will watch the lies, and then they'll come here and bring the lies here. But I don't mind it. I don't mind it. This, this is why the show is called Friday Night Raw. But until you can substitute, that what you did is called slander. What you did is called tail-bearing. There's judgment for tail-bearing. Okay? So would IUIC require an already married couple to be married? No, if you're already married, how, why would we tell you to get married again? Where are you guys getting this stuff from? Where are you getting these, this stuff from, this craziness? This is crazy. Why would we tell, what church would tell a church, you got to go get married again? Where are you guys getting this stuff from? We can, one night we just got to do a Q&A because a lot of you, you're social media junkies. I don't run with lies. You can't, you don't do that to me. The Bible says that's a sin to run with slander. Chaya, I know what you mean. Don't say they're slow. Just say that they're easily uh, manipulated. Don't call them slow because then they're going to say, oh, you, you're disrespecting me. Uh, now, Samuel, now that you admitted that there was confusion, the police did arrest a couple years ago, okay? Because you do have uh, Israelite groups. They do not believe in marriage. They believe that sex is marriage. And a mother did give her daughter over to a 37-year-old man to have sex. That was in the news. Vocab took it to try to make it look like that's the, the way the Israelite community is. Okay, now there is a group called Great Millstone GMS. They teach that, uh, they make the videos there, I'm not slandering them. Okay, you can look it up, GMS. They, were, they, they went to uh, Sarnetta and on his show, and they said that out of their own mouth. That you can have children young according to the word of God. I'm not saying that to slander them. So Vocab watches the videos, and he takes that stuff, he chops up little pieces and puts them together, but his target is Israel United in Christ because we're the most popular, we're the most widely known, and that's why, like I said Friday, I take your answers, I do a Q&A, and I can answer your question. There's been no question in 13 years that you have put forth to me that I have not answered. Okay, for 13 years, I've addressed all the slander head on. And all I ask is if you come to me with a lie, have some proof. If you come to me with slander, have some proof. Okay? 
And so I'll ask. Uh, I understand, Miss Ellis, but the only way for you to know for sure is to visit us. Where do you live, Miss Ellis? Miss Ellis said to relax, don't attack her. She's still learning. Uh, but like I said, if you guys see something, just bring it up here. I'm ready to address everything. We don't marry anybody here. We have an extensive uh, process before we even get involved in somebody's marriage. There's a courting process. We say that the man, ha man has to be stable. He has to have a job. He has to be able to provide for the woman. We have, uh, if they're too young, we'll say no. We don't just uh, allow people to get married. Okay, so uh, uh, Vocab Malone, if you look at all his little uh, clips that he does, he edits them in a way to make us look unfavorable to the public, and we don't mind it. We don't mind it. Uh, it's like water baptism with the Christian church. They get dipped in water and come out still wicked. That's a good analogy. Uh, uh, close to Dallas, about a couple of hours east. We got a school in Dallas. Did you guys ever find out who made the fake IUIC website uh, the other month? Yes, it was taken care of and it's taken down. Uh, many shall be made purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly. Yes, and what Vocab is doing is wickedness. He cannot combat us in the scriptures. And when all else fails, lie. They did the same thing to Christ. They were trying to challenge him in the scriptures, and when they could not defeat him in the scriptures, they had to turn public opinion against him. And Christ said, we're going to drink of the same cup. So if you go to his page, everything is to watch our videos and tarnish us. Notice he's been putting my face in a lot of videos because I slammed him when he went to Sarnetta and he lied. And he's in his feelings now. So all of a sudden, my face is popping up in a lot of videos. Not because I did anything wrong to him, but I stopped him dead, dead right in his, his tracks. Y'all know how I get down. If I'm bringing you up here, it's because I got you. I will watch you, but wait till I got you. Is that a t-shirt? Yes, I will watch you, and then I'll wait till I got you. And then you got to prove that it's not you. That's a t-shirt that right there. That's a t-shirt. <laughs> okay? But I want all of you to be familiar with him because he's a liar. Go look at his content. If y'all see something on his page, bring it back here. Okay? So I don't even bring him up. He's been doing this long before Vocat. And that's how he destroyed his page. Now he's attacking the Bible. It's all good. Okay, how many people you see ready to fight with him also because of conflicting information? How many? This is the greatest, this is the greatest debater, and then you never see him again. They never come back on this show again. It's always, he's the, the, he's the Don King of controversy. He'll hype him up, oh, this debater, I don't think you can deal with him. Then they set up a debate. You ignorant Negroes pay for it. And you come out dumber than when you went in. We don't do that here. Vocab did the same thing to Sakari not long ago. I don't remember him interacting with them. I know he went to the, a lot of camps. Uh, but um. I don't follow him. I only follow him when our name comes up. And if y'all look at his page, he been putting my face in a lot of videos. And that's just because he's angry. Because I embarrassed him. Okay? I embarrassed him. Between this page, between the IUIC in the classroom, and between uh, Facebook, it's 40,000 views of him being embarrassed when I showed that he, he said a whole entire lie of things that we don't say. 
And all I asked for was if you can prove that we said this, because he has all these clips of us saying things. But now the lie that I tell him to prove he can't find it is, oh, I assumed, I thought, I thought because that's one West don't teach what he said. He, what he's got, he got it from Tahar, from Great Millstone Camp. He watches them, he follows them around, and he tries to put us against each other. Okay, if Tahar says something against the bishop, he'll take a clip, he'll try to put it up to try to make a score against each other. We dismiss these people. We don't bring up no Israelite camps here on this show. Okay, unless they put out something that we got to address and defend. Okay, but he's, he's messy. He tries to create controversy. He tries to put discord against us, but we, not, we maneuver through it. Okay, when you go to his page, you'll see a sign of desperation. He hates God. He hates the fact that Negroes are waking up saying, we're not Christian, we're not Methodist, we're not Baptist, we're not Catholic. Those are religions gave to us in slavery. We are the Israelites of the Bible. So he looks for an audience to, to pull us away from that because he feels just like every other person in authority uh, in America feels. When these Israelites rise up the way God says, it's the end of the world. Do y'all understand that? That when the 12 tribes of Israel rise up, destruction is coming to the world. God is, that's, there's a countdown to the, to the destruction of the world. Because God says he's going to create new heavens and a new earth. But the stipulation for that new heaven and that new earth is men have to be sealed on the earth. The Christians never brought this up before. They never read this. There's no teaching from no uh, Christian bringing out what I'm about to show you now. He knows it now. And people are seeing these guys broke away from Christian religious mainstream Baptist, Methodist, Jehovah's Witness, Seventh-day Adventist, Allah, Buddha, Hinduism, and now they're in the Bible, the most widely circulated book on the face of the planet, and they're saying they're the people of the book. When they took us as slaves, they hid our identity when we were the people of the book. What did they do? They put us in captivity. They stopped us from reading and writing for hundreds of years. Then they gave us a white guy with blonde hair and blue eyes named Jesus, and they set up Sunday school, and they indoctrinated us with that. They told us, for God so loved the world that he gave us only begotten son, and they made us repeat it over and over and never check any other scriptures. We checked the other scriptures, and somebody lying. Somebody's lying. The difference between us and other religious denominations, we read the entire Bible from cover to cover and somebody's lying. Uh, the end of the world. Uh, the end of the world depends on the 12 tribes of Israel rising up. And God said in the last days, he's going to raise them up. It's not going to be no Methodist, no Baptist, no Catholic, no Jehovah's Witness, no Seventh-day Adventist. And people are starting to see as we teach. This was never on, uh, on you couldn't go on the internet and find this stuff. The, inf the content that's there, we created it. We are the creators of this. Everything that they have is from watching us. When I was doing this, there was no such thing as YouTube. There was no such thing as Facebook or Twitter or TikTok. This stuff is new. I've been doing this since the 90s. The bishop been doing this for over 30 years. Now that we become popular, we're under attack as the same thing with Christ. When Christ became popular, he was under attack. Watch this. Go to John chapter 7. Christ wasn't met with hugs and kisses. He was under attack. Okay? And uh, Vocal Malone, he goes to anybody that's ready to attack us to try to uh, create obstacles for us to wake our people up. And like I said, if there's any place else that's teaching how we teach in here, Tell me where they are and I'll mention them on my show. Tell me, tell me who they are and I'll say their name here. 
That's the difference between us and them. We want the truth to come out. Okay? We want the truth to come out. If you could find, because everybody, like in Clubhouse, everybody tells me about their bishop, their pastor, their this, and I'm like, give me the name, get, show me their teachings, and one by one you realize it's all hype. It's all hype. Okay, and a lot of you asked me last week, so many people were leaving messages, what is Clubhouse, what is Clubhouse, what is Clubhouse? Can we show the audience real quick? Clubhouse is an app you download to your phone, and there's a stage. Just put it on the big screen so I can see it there. You download the app to your phone. We have a room called Biblical Smoke, and people engage us from all over the world on our beliefs. That's our room, Biblical Smoke. But you cannot get into our room. Oh, they put the number up. They finally raised it from 50000 to sixty after a whole year which we know that there's a lot more than that. It's at least 100K plus. But thank you for giving us the 10,000 more members, okay? And the room is lit the whole night. Why? Because we engage the public like a real priest is supposed to do, a real pastor is supposed to do. So you, you go to your Play Store, you download the Clubhouse app, you search for our room, Biblical Smoke, and we're there for like nine hours. We start at like 9 p.m. and we go all the way to 6 a.m. in the morning. And we take questions on anything you want to ask us. Okay, then the replay, this is our page for our replay. If you missed it, you could go here on YouTube. It's called Israelite Social. Uh, do black women view their old man as competition? I was on there last night. I was nice last night. I know y'all be saying I'm rude. I was nice. Let me see what else What, what else we had. Uh, the Christian church is just a fashion show. I was not nice that night. Sorry. Go up. Uh, go up. Can a woman turn a boy into a man? I don't remember being on there. But that was a good, I listened all night to that, because we got some heavy hitters on there, okay? The best teachers, that's what I listen to at night. So if you don't have the Clubhouse app, you can go on YouTube to Israelite Social, subscribe. Let me see how many people subscribe to the page. Uh, 14,000, okay, the number's going up. Just subscribe there and you can hear, hear the rebroadcast there. To participate in the class and ask questions, hit that subscribe there. Okay, that's how you subscribe to our page. But to participate in the class, you must have the app on your phone. And you wait on stage, you raise your hand, we take your question. And there's never been no question that we don't answer. Oh, and for our uh, Northern Kingdom... This is in Spanish, humo biblico, humo biblico, okay? This is growing also. Remember, there was only a couple of hundred. Now they are 2.1K, okay? And we have many dynamic speakers there to answer your questions in Spanish. Now let's go back. Let's go back. Now, we got to address this foolishness because I said to you before, Take that off. Take that off. Take me back to the comments. You can click all that stuff out. Uh, always fun and edifying. I love biblical smoke. Yes, thank you guys for your support there. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for listening. I know it's really late. I've heard people say they don't go to sleep because the room is lit. And yes, it is lit. It is lit. There's no clubhouse room on that app as lit as our app all night where you can ask questions you cannot ask your pastor in a church so it's your courting process how long do you believe or should one do so is there a time limit well i can't put a time limit on it because at the end you two have to feel comfortable but we usually tell people don't run into getting married you have to examine each other. This Bible says to prove a friend. 
So I don't be like, oh, six months, eight months, a year. I don't put a time limit. Uh, John chapter 7, verse 1. To show you how Christ, as he became popular, how he had to move around the people. The book of John, chapter 7. Because a lot of you, the stuff that you believe about Christ is lies. You believe what your church told you. I'm going to show you things to how Christ's life really was. John chapter 7, verse 1. The book of John. Chapter Stop. Hold on one second. Marcus White said, I ran into a group that preached polygamy on Clubhouse. There's a lot of them. We don't teach that. We believe in one man, one woman. There are Israelite groups that they say the man can have as much wives as he wants, and he doesn't have to marry them. We don't believe in that. Okay? We don't believe in that. They pull scriptures from the Old Testament, and they go against the reformation of the church under Christ, and they use all Old Testament examples. We don't use that. We don't go by that. So if that's the type of uh, Israelite group you want to be a part of, they're there. Us, we are not affiliated with any other Israelite group on YouTube. We have no affiliation with them. Absolutely none. Zero. Okay? And many of them speak against us and slander us because we don't subscribe to their teachings or their way of salvation. Uh, Christian Broadcast News tried to break down the prophecy wars and rumors of wars in the land now. Yes, they always do that, but it doesn't line up with uh, what the scriptures say. That's a big uh, network. And they, don't, they still don't go into the scriptures the way we do. We know by the wars and rumors of wars are going to come because that's how God is going to bring forth Armageddon. They're not, they don't tell you. Christian Broadnet for broadcast news, they're a multi-million dollar organization. How hard is it to bring out that the reason God is going to allow wars and rumors of wars is to destroy the United States of America and bring up God's empire? They're not bringing that out. And that's easy. That's light work. Y'all see me do that here. They're a multi-million dollar organization. I'm a rinky-dink show that comes on Friday that I could barely see. I'm, I'm uh, uh, I'm supposed to be the one that don't know nothing. And these are the scholars with all this money, and you can't challenge them the way you challenge us here. You can't interact in dialogue with us with scriptures the way you do here. I've been doing this for 13 years. Okay? Straight, consistently, night after night. You people who've been here, who saw how we get down. And we don't dismiss no questions. Uh, I'll be so tired listening on Clubhouse, but I hang in there because it goes down. That's right, Latricia. Tell them, people. Tell them. They be kind of coming in the room. Yeah, you're going to run when I ask this question. You're going to run. You're scared. And what happens every time, night after night? They get bodied. Call the coroner, okay? And never. They say it night after night, and it always turns out they take the L. Yeah, that Golden Showers guy, he needs, he's, he's, he has medication. I'm sure of it. He's on medication, so we got to pray for him. When I started finding out the truth, I went on YouTube for the first time. I started seeing a few places to look the truth and then looked at other camps. And I was like, oh, Lord, Jesus. And I went back to IUIC. All praises, Ida. That's all we ask. I don't tell people to stay away from no other Israelite group. I tell you, go and listen to them and then compare. And if you like what they say, saying, stay over there. That's all I ask. And we don't hide nothing. Y'all see me night after night taking questions on Clubhouse and here. Y'all seen how we get down. And a lot of the leaders of the other Israelite communities, you can't question. Their leaders won't come out and speak. Yes, Golden Showers makes up so many different accounts. 
Like old dude the other night said, I got some smoke for y'all. and wasn't about nothing. They do it every night. They do it every night. And you know what's crazy? This is what's crazy. How you come talking all that crap, right? You got Google. You got everything right there at you. And you still cannot present a valid argument to us. We're, we're coming in the room not prepared for what you're going to say. Like some churches, they want to know what your doctrine is before you come in. Okay, how many times y'all heard me in the room? They say, I want to ask a question off topic. And I'm like, listen, ask whatever you want. You cannot do that in a Christian church. You cannot do that. Okay? And I got to remind them, the room is called biblical smoke for a reason. <laughs> okay? The room is called biblical smoke in a reason. For a reason. When you come in here, you're going to get that smoke. And shout out to the men that have been holding it down. I just, I'll be driving to work. I'm like, damn. I'm, I'm almost going to crash. I'm like, damn, these men, they're like, no joke. I'm dying to get in to get the leftovers. <laughs> How do it come until like 2, 3 o'clock? Okay? But the room is already messy because they already wiped out everybody that came in there with foolishness. And then I got to come looking for a victim in the room. Two, three o'clock. So, let's get to this woman here that went to vocab. Just so y'all know, she left her husband over a year ago. Huh? We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. Because I want to stick to this here. I just wanted to address the people. She left her woman over a year ago. She put a video up. She went to vocab alone. And now here we are a year and change later. She's uh, Now she's showing the child in a video crying to gain her more, garner more sympathy from the public with vocab. And this is horrible because she's using the child as a pawn. Okay, and y'all not hearing the whole truth, so we're going to let you hear the other side of what's going on, and you be the judge, you make the decision. Okay, so let me show you, uh, everybody's been telling me now since uh, Vocab got demolished with that foolishness he did with Sarnet and it didn't work, now all of a sudden my face is coming up on his page, which I don't mind, I don't mind, listen to me man, I love it. Okay? No, my show is late, so nobody don't really know me. But when you put me in a place of exposure, I don't mind. All you do is send more audience to me. Who starts a show this late and has the amount of people coming here to come and watch? So I need all the advertisement. So when you put my face in something, people's like, yo, who's that guy? I never see him teach because all the other teachers are in the daytime. So I don't mind. If y'all could put my face, y'all could put up, you could put whatever you say and then meet me at night right here. Like we say in New York. Okay, you can meet me. Tonight, it's going down. All right? So I don't mind. Put my face all you want. All you're doing is lining yourself up to uh, be exposed. Okay, I don't get, I don't teach in the daytime. I teach at night. I'm the last class in Israel United in Christ. I come on late. Most of the people are asleep, so I don't have the exposure that the other classes have. So if y'all want to put my face in stuff, it's to your own detriment. I want that work. I want it. And y'all going to see why in a minute. Let's let her video play. This is what she did. This is her latest video with vocab Malone, where she has her child crying in the video. And this is sad. See, they put my face. Look, wait, wait, put it back, put it back. Put it back. See, he put my face. I, I wasn't that popular on his page, but now he's targeting me. Okay, because I addressed it last year. When I when it first happened, because he tried it last year, it didn't work. So here we are revisiting it a year later. He's bringing her back on the show. Now he has the ch children there. He has the slow melodramatic music. 
with the violins and the piano playing. And some simpleton is going to watch it and be like, oh, my God, I can't believe they did it. It sounds like a soap opera. But you're going to hear the truth tonight. Go ahead, let it play. It's making a comment that Cornelius left me because he doesn't love me. IUIC snatched my husband away. She put that video out with vocab. That's her. You see vocab's face, and you see her sitting there laughing. This was over a year ago. Do you understand that? This was over a year ago, and this is what she's bringing up. This is not new. Let her play. No, your husband left you because he don't love you. My kids have seen this clip. Um, my family, his family has seen this clip. People who genuinely... Pause like it, him. pause it, pause it. And then he typed, won't join IUIC, so husband left. You, you see that this is his words. This is what he wrote on the video. Won't join IUIC, so husband left. So that we're clear here on where we're going. Because I told you, I'm not going to bring up nothing unless I got you. I don't make things up to get views. I let this rock. I let this go for a minute. I'm not going to address something unless I got you. And we're going to see if I got you tonight. Y'all remember what they wrote? Bree won't join IUIC, so husband left. Y'all see that right there? Okay? Is the disclaimer cutting it off? They can see it? Okay, go ahead, press play. As me and my kids do. Um, I who've also been hurt by the things that he and other members of leadership from IUIC have said. And okay. the only, to my knowledge, the only person that addressed this was me. So I don't know if she's talking about other members of leadership. If there's a video of anybody else addressing this, please produce it. Oh, all the attacks i'm the one that get them first and i tell all the other men we got thousands of views i tell them don't mention nothing we're very coordinated on how we respond to the lies and the drama so i don't know if she's talking about all the other members i know i'm the only person that addressed it over a year ago when she went to vocab with her business let her play it could take me away from that's it that's how she was there with the glasses. Now she don't have the glasses on. Now she got her hair out. Now she got the baby in her hand crying. Let her play. That I love. And any man bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Building. I want them to hear what I said. Me away from a woman that I love. I said no body can take me away from a woman that I love. And I stand on that. Any group, any church, any organization gets in my head and tells me to leave my wife. This is what I said a year ago, and I stand on it. Press play. Nobody could take me away from a woman that I love. And any man that could let a group pull them away from his wife that he loves, you're weak. Everybody in IUIC has more of an opinion on the things going on uh, in my marriage than Cornelius does himself. And we're just tired. If you're tired, stop going on social media. Stop going on social media and talk with your husband and work things out. Tired is to go to this man who's attacking us and then put your business out there and put the baby crying. That doesn't look like somebody that's tired to me. That's someone trying to garner attention and public support against us who have nothing to do with their marriage. We don't tell people to leave their wives or to leave their husbands. Okay, that's your decision. Let it play. I miss you so much. <laughs> okay, so this is the uh the um the preview of he's lining up to his next attack. So he put her there, he put my face, he put something. If you don't follow what's going on, you're going to fall into that. You're going to be like, damn, Asaph, you said that? So let me repeat what I said last year. Because nothing has changed since last year. If you are in a church, if you are with an organization, if you have family members manipulating you to leave a woman or to leave a man, well, the woman, I'm not saying that. I'm saying from a man's perspective, you're weak. If I genuinely love my wife, ain't nobody taking me away. The deacons can't tell me, yo, leave your wife. The bishop can't tell me, leave your wife. 
Okay, I respect their counsel and I respect what they're saying, but the ultimate decision is mine, which is what I'm saying with the brother here, and which is what I said last year. If someone can manipulate you and you're truly in love with your spouse, you're weak. So I'm glad that he put that point in there because we don't teach that. We don't push that. And if someone else, I find someone interfering in someone else's relationship that's a part of leadership of IUIC. I tell them, mind your business. Okay, mind your business. Listen, I say the same thing to uh, Belinda. There's no real, you, you bringing your children there and crying is to garner public sympathy. That child is small. That child don't know what's going on. Okay, that's to please Vocab Malone. That's to bring views to his channel. That's to exploit the situation. What happened to going to your brother or sister if you have a problem like the Bible said we should do? No, that, that, come on, man. You, you're saying for people to follow the Bible. Nobody does that. Nobody does that. That's why we always have to go and defend ourselves. I don't air my stuff out on here. If you see me bringing something here, it's because it's all over social media and it's a lie. And I have to defend myself, my reputation, and our status with the community. Because a lot of you, as we saw here tonight, y'all listen to the lies. You know, Deacon, it's crazy how people in the world divorce every little thing. But when somebody, part of IUIC, leaves because their spouse doesn't keep the commandments, it's a whole problem. You right, daughter. Ashley, you are right. It's only worldwide breaking news if it has to do with Israel United in Christ. People divorce all the time. You don't see nobody in Creflo Dollar Church going and doing a video with the children in the slow na -na -na music and having the baby crying. Okay, I need y'all to see this with your own eyes that this is happening right before. I've never seen this before. Never, ever. Nothing like this. Uh, is what she's doing considered blasphemy against the Holy Spirit? We're going to get to that, Ara Yisrael. We're going to get to that. That's a good question. Uh, you can't believe a video that was chopped and screwed. Yet Vocab wants you to believe that. Okay? Vocab, I have this when my statement that I did last year, but we're not going to play it. We're going to wait for his video to be released because he has a video coming up with this slander in it. I'm sure Vocab don't give a damn about Bree. Look like all the other people he brought on, Desiree. He brought on like six ex-IUIC members that he has no affiliation with now. Uh, she could have kept all the drama. She's not. She's not going to do that. I don't know her. I've never spoken to her. And the only reason why I addressed the situation is because she went to him and she went on social media and she put her business out there and people are attacking us. Now, can we get the Facebook post from last year, please? Because she said, you saw what he typed, that her husband left her. Her husband left her. Y'all saw it with your own eyes. He put that in the video. Her husband left her. So we're going to read her post from when she left. I spoke to her husband for the first time today, and I asked him, and I told him, brother, do you know what's circulating? He says, I'm not paying attention to it. I'm trying to move on with my life. Okay, I'm paying child support for the kids, and I'm just trying to move on with my life. She's the one that's keeping this thing going. I said, okay, brother, I'm going to help you out. Tonight, I'm going to help you out. This is what she left. This is what she put on, on social media when she left. Jesus delivered me and my four children from Hebrew Israelism. Where does that term come from? Vocab Malone. There's no such thing as Hebrew Israelism. It's, it's something that white people who are against black people rising up. As the Israelites, they created that term. Two years ago, my husband committed himself to Hebrew Israelism. However, I am a Christian. If you know anything about Hebrew Israelism, you know how much they despise Christianity. We despise lies, okay? Because I follow Christ, and we believe on Christ, as the scriptures say. We don't believe in the Christian lie of a white guy with blonde hair and blue eyes that allows you to do anything you want with no consequences. 
That's what we don't like. You know how much they despise Christianity. I began to compromise my beliefs in an attempt to keep peace in my marriage. Keeping the feast days. How is that a compromise? When the Bible says to do Passover, to do Feast of Tabernacles, okay, to honor the Sabbath and keep it whole. Now she says that's a compromise. As a Christian, you set up a Christmas tree. You deal with Easter eggs and bunny rabbits. You deal with Valentine's Day. You deal with Halloween. That's what goes on in the church. The compromise is saying that to keep God's laws is a problem for me. Okay, this is her words. I'm not making this up. I'm not adding nothing. This is her words that she put out there. I began to compromise to keep peace in my marriage. Keeping feast days, celebrating the new moons, putting fringes on our clothes, attending his school. That's in the Bible. That's not a compromise. If you're a follower of Christ, these are the things that Christ said to do. We didn't make this up. On the Sabbath, instead of my own desired place of worship, because I was forbidden. Because the Christian church goes on Sunday, which is the first day of the week. Not on Saturday, as the Bible says. Get that Exodus chapter 35, verse 2 real quick. Y'all got to move with me. Exodus 35. Get two men back there with Bibles. I want the scriptures right away. Whoever gets it, read it. Exodus chapter 35, verse 2. The book of Exodus chapter 35 and verse 2. Six days shall work be done. How many days? Six days shall work be done. Read on. But on the seventh day, there shall be to you a holy day, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord. Whosoever doth work therein shall be put to death. So we're afraid of that. So we don't put, switch our Sabbath to Sunday. We believe what God says. Six days work, seven day rest. Six days work, seven day rest. People as Christians, they don't believe that. They don't follow that. They say it's a compromise. My Sabbath is Sunday. Okay? You've added something that's not there. And the Bible speaks against that. Let's get that. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 2. That's added. Christians add things to the Bible that's not there. The Sabbath day is the seventh day of the week, which is Saturday. That's why the Jewish people, they close their establishments on Saturday. Christians, you're shopping and buying and selling and doing everything on the Lord's Sabbath day. And then you say, we'll just fix things on Sunday. That's not biblical. Read it, please. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4 and verse 2. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you. Read it again. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you. Read on. Neither shall ye diminish out from it. They Christians in Christianity, they add and diminish from the word as it suits them. Read on. That ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God. So she put that that's a compromise. That's a compromise. Because I'm showing you what's written, and you want to negate what's written and follow uh, what the Christ Christianity taught you, you're compromising. That makes absolutely no sense. Okay? So her compromise is keeping the feast days, celebrating the new moon, as the Bible says. Okay? Blow up the trumpet in the new moon. Putting fringes on, as the Bible says. Attending his school on the Sabbath day, as the Bible says. Instead of my own desired place of worship. What you're saying is, as your husband, as your head, he's supposed to let you go and follow the devil. Let you go and do whatever you feel. Marriage doesn't work like that. The Bible says a husband and a wife must agree together. Let's get that in uh, real quick, real quick, real quick in your apocrypha. Get that? A husband and a wife that agreed together. Read it, please. The book of Sirach, chapter 25 and verse 1. In three things I was beautified. God says that this is beauty in his eyes. Read on. It stood up beautiful both before God and men. You're supposed to do this before God and before man. Read on. The unity of brethren. When you see, that's, vocab don't like that. That's why he was mad that we honored the bishop and he saw so much black faces coming together in unity. 
okay, to honor our brethren, to honor our bishop, and that bothered him, just like everybody else. Why are these niggers coming together and honoring this man as brethren? Read on. The love of neighbors. We loved our neighbor. That's why we came together the way we came together on the Lord's Passover. The Christian church don't care about the Lord's Passover because they're doing bunny rabbits and Easter egg hunts with their children and worshiping a fertility God. Read on. A man and a wife that agreed together. Could you say that again, Fabree? A man and a wife that agreed together. So she says agreeing with her husband is compromise because I want to live my life as a Christian. And we're the bad guys for reading the Bible and doing things as it is written. We're going to let the audience decide, not me. Don't be intimidated by it. If I'm wrong, show me where I'm wrong. Okay? I'm going to read it again. Keeping the feast days, celebrating the new moon, putting fringes on our clothes, attending his school on the Sabbath instead of my own desired place of worship because I was forbidden. But it just didn't feel right because she wanted to go against what the Bible says and play church. This is why we are against the Christian church. It was founded on lies and it takes you away from God. But it just didn't feel right. I felt in my heart that I was doing what I was doing was wrong but couldn't exactly explain why. So I continue to compromise in those gray areas. These areas are not gray. They're black and white. There are scriptures that explain what he's telling her to do. Wow, you cannot make this up, man. Last year, I came across a series of Bible studies on YouTube by Nefer Nitti, which the men destroyed her, everything that she was teaching. And you don't even hear her mouth no more. She's another black woman, loud black woman that hates the Bible. Okay. Dwayne Lemon and Ivor Myers that answered every single question I had desperately been seeking answers to. And so she decided to listen to these people over her husband. She don't care what the scriptures say about a husband and a wife that agreed together. She went to an outside source. I decided uh, I had desperately been seeking answers to. And with those answers came great conviction. I had decided I could not continue to comp compromise with what I now knew. <clears throat> this made my husband seriously angry. The spiritual warfare that began to take place in our home was crippling. But God kept me and is with me still. Earlier this year, my husband gave me an ultimatum. Ultimatum. I was either to renounce Christianity or he'd fight for a divorce. After much prayer and clinging to the Lord while pregnant with our fourth children, I relocated myself. I thought she said that her husband left. This is why I had to call her husband to find out. Because vocab put that her husband left her. And now we're reading from her own words, I relocated myself and children to another state. We lived with my husband hometown six years, six hours away from my nearest relatives or friends to lean on my family for support during our divorce. I chose Jesus, and I'm so glad that I did. Is that it? That's the end? Okay, so these are her own words. I'm not making anything up. This is what she wrote last year. Now a year later, Vocal Malone is putting that she left her husband because they wouldn't commit to Hebrew Israelism. So, without further ado, we're going to get her husband on the phone. Give me one second. Hey, shalom, shalom, bro. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you hear me good? I can hear you good. How's his audio there? Audio's good, sir. Okay. So um, let me just ask the people online, can you hear him? Can you hear him talking? Y'all can hear him when he spoke? Okay, everybody said they can hear you good. What's going on, Corlinus? How you doing? Hey, I'm doing well, 
sir. Happy Sabbath, sir. Happy Sabbath to you too, because it's the Lord's Sabbath now, not Sunday. As Bree believes, as she said in her own post, what was the first time you spoke to me ever? Uh, earlier today, sir. So today was the first time we spoke ever since you've been a part of Israel United in Christ. Yes, sir. Has anybody in Israel United in Christ instructed you to divorce or to leave your wife? No, sir. Okay, so we want to get that out the away right now. Because she's telling, and vocab is writing, that we told you to divorce your wife. Okay? And I'm the first person in upper leadership you've ever spoke to concerning the matter. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so we need to clear that out the air because vocab is doing another lying video to tarnish Israel United in Christ and to tarnish you. So I figured last year when I addressed this, I didn't contact you because I thought it was evident that she's being emotional, she's being dramatic, maybe she'll come to her senses and you two can reconcile the situation because that's what we want, okay? I would never tell you, the scriptures say only to divorce your wife if she's committed fornication, okay? But um, so I, I what I want is for you to reconcile with your wife. So I want to ask you first, do you love your wife? Yes, sir. Okay, the whole world heard that he does love his wife. Do you love your wife more than you love God? No, sir. Okay, so we got to clear it up first because that's what I meant. His love of God is supposed to supersede his love for his wife. That's what the Bible says. But Volkab isolated that, and she took control of that to run with to put their next video for next year. Because this, this is an ongoing saga for a year. The man has to pay child support. He has to uh, divert his funds to her and to keep a roof over his head. And now lies are being told on him and, and, and us. So that's why I decided to contact him. Y'all heard the man say he loved his wife, but he don't love her more than he loved God. The love of God is supposed to come first. So let's get that real quick. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. We're going to let the scriptures speak as I speak to you so that the audience who are, not, uh, who are new to this won't be clueless to this. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. This is what Christ said because she said that she's a Christian. She said she believes in Christ. The book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. When you follow Christ, there's going to be drama in your life. There's not going to be peace. Why? Read on. I came not to send peace, but a sword. And that sword is the word of God. It tells you that the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. Cutting through soul, bone, and marrow. It's a discerner of spirits. So when the word of God is being applied, people's feelings get hurt. In the Christian church, people don't listen to the word of God. They get that feel-good religion. Read on. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father. Christ said what? For I am come to set a man at variance against his father. Your opinions will vary concerning God and life. Your own father who brought you into this world. Read on. And the daughter against her mother. You're going to argue with your mom when you side with Christ. Read on. And the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. That's what Cornelius is going through now. You, she got family involved. She put my family saw this. My family's upset. Your family didn't contact me. Your family didn't see if what you're doing is according to the Bible. So I don't care what your family thinks. I don't care what your family believes. We're reading the Bible as it is written and we're applying it. And you're telling me your family's upset. The kids saw it. Everybody saw your clip. So now I have to explain myself to the whole world with the word of God so we can see who's right and who's wrong. Christ said that there will be variants. Your mother, your father, your in-laws. Read on. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. And the people in your house are going to turn into your foes, your enemies, your enemies. And any person that's going to social media to try to destroy someone has not deemed you their enemy. There's no other way around it. Okay? To go and publicly humiliate me and lie and slap me. 
You hate me. You trying to embarrass me. You're trying to turn against me. Yo, what's going on with this mic? Why it keeps cutting out? Okay, so let's keep it real, people. Let's stop with the drama. Let's stop with the tears, the melodramatic music that Vocab put there. This is hatred, clear and simple. And the man has never been given a chance to speak. And lies are going on over him for a whole year. This man is trying to destroy him while he's trying to live his life and serve God. Read on. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of That's me. why I made the comment about love, because Christians don't read that. Read it again. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. You cannot let your love for your parents supersede your love for Christ. Read on. He that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. You cannot put a child in a video crying and all of a sudden you say, you know what? I'm not going to follow what God says because my wife put the baby in there crying. And the music was playing. You, you see how fake that is? You see where we're going with this? I'm showing you what the Bible says. She want to do things her way. With a man that hates God and he hates the people of God. So you audience, you be the judge. Read on. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. Okay, so we have to prove ourselves worthy to Christ if we believe on Christ. Christians don't believe in Christ. They believe in white man Jesus and lies. As we're going to show you tonight, that's what Christian Christianity is a place of lies to make you feel comfortable. And when the true word of God comes out, Christ said that there will be division. So, brother, could you tell us out of your own words, did you leave your wife? No, sir. Did you tell her to get out? No, sir. Why is she not in your house now? Because one day, uh, 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 you know, she packed up, took the kids, three, uh, three or four months so pregnant, and left. Did you try and stop her? Yes, sir. And what did she do when you tried to stop her? Continue to leave. So why is she on social media saying that you left her? Blatant lie, sir. Okay. I, I, you, audience, I want you to hear this yourself. I want you to hear this yourself. She left while she was pregnant. And for a woman to... to you guys got how many kids? We have uh, three children, and the, uh, the, the the child that you saw in the, in the video in that clip there, she was uh, that was a child that she had before we got married. So that's, that's not that even child. your child. Correct. That's wow! Correct. Y'all see this? She used a child from a previous relationship that has no allegiance to him to come crying in the video now to garner support anymore. This is crazy. I thought that was your child. So, so let me make this clear for the audience. When you took her in as your wife, she already had a child from a previous relationship? Correct. And you took her in as your wife to love her and that child? Yes, sir. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know this. I did not know this. Wow. Okay. Now, does the father of that child know that she's using that child in a video? For social media? I have no idea about this. Did you ever meet the father of that child? No. So he's never been around from the time that you've been with her? Not even once. Wow. This is crazy. This is crazy. So I'm glad I brought you on here for clarity that that child in that video is not even yours. Okay, and because the child is old enough to form an allegiance with his mother, she could tell that child to do anything. So all that stuff in that video was rehearsed with him and her. Is that correct? Correct. Okay, just, I just wanted you to bring clarity. So she left over a year ago, and do you want her to come home? 
Yes, sir. Could you say that again for the audience? Yes, sir. So y'all hearing this man say he wants his wife home. So why the hell is she with this man? Why is she with this man with the baby lying in social media that he put her out and he left her for Hebrew Israel? You, you cannot make this up, man. This is horrible. This is horrible. This is the evil that Christ is talking about. Okay? So here you have it. You heard out of his own words. She left. She packed her things while pregnant. It's been a year. He hasn't buckled. He's still standing for God. So now they're applying more social media pressure and lies on him for him to compromise his belief in God. You cannot make this up, man. This is crazy. So, brother, I don't want to keep you long. If there's anything that you want to add or you want to say to clear your name or to set the record straight, as far as I'm concerned, I'm good, bro. I, I ain't telling you to leave your wife, and I wish that you guys could reconcile. I mean, she's just making this a hundred times worse, lying on you, going to this man that hates the Bible, and I know it's difficult, and it's putting you in a compromising situation. And like I said... I'm not telling nobody to leave their wife that they love. But I'm not telling nobody to compromise their beliefs to be in a relationship. Okay? I'm not telling nobody that. The Bible is clear. Let's get that real quick. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 12. That's right, Dom. That's not his kid. Okay? She didn't say when she put the child in there to start crying. She didn't tell vocab that. Now vocab, you better go and re-edit that video you have launching now. Okay? Don't put my face in nothing, man. I'm going to make you explain yourself. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I will make you have to go back and adjust everything. You're going to have to get your life straight. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 7 and verse 12. But to the rest speak I, not the Lord. If any brother hath a wife that believeth not, and she be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. So that's why we don't tell people to divorce. You can have people that don't believe. Let's use the term uh, vocab said in Hebrew Israelism. But if the sister is pleased to dwell, I love my husband, he's a good husband, don't put her away. That's what the Bible says. Read on. And the woman which hath an husband that believeth not, and if he be pleased to dwell with her, let her not leave him. Same thing with the woman. We don't tell a woman to leave their husband. If, the, if he's a good husband and he's not interfering with her walk with Christ, y'all can work things out, which is what I'm telling him now. If she comes into a mindset where she loves her husband because all she's been displaying is hatred. All I've been seeing so far is pure hatred for the man. To go on social media and slander him. To go to the only entity on social media that's against us keeping God's laws as her source to attack this man, that's hatred. So the Bible says, if they be pleased to dwell. And we just read out of her own words. She's not pleased to dwell. She's not pleased to serve God as it is written. She wants to go to another entity, another source, another religious belief where they teach lies. And he wants to serve God the right way because he cares about his soul. So she's not pleased to dwell. Read on. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. Sanctified meaning you can clean them up if they're keeping the feast days, if they have their fringes on, if they're keeping the Sabbath, if they're keeping the new moon. You're not unclean in God's eyes. If they love you and they say, you know what, I don't believe in this stuff, if, if, if she likes it, I'm going to do it. Or I don't believe in this stuff, but my husband likes it. They're sanctified. Read on. And the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Yes. You can clean the person up if they're doing what the Bible says. Read on. Else were your children unclean. But now are they holy? Because your children doesn't know how to serve God, but they become holy as they watch mommy and daddy doing so. The Bible is clear on this. Read on. But if the unbelieving depart... Like she did. She left him. She don't believe in the scriptures. She went to a source that's against living as the Bible says. Read on. 
Let him depart. What is he supposed to do? Audience, you tell me. What is he supposed to do? Okay, he got to suffer now because she's lying on him and he's away from his children. The Bible says what? Read it again. But if the unbelieving depart. Like she just said in her own post and you just heard him say. Packed her stuff. He told her to leave and she left. Read on. Let him depart. Let them go. Read on. A brother or a sister is not under bondage in such cases. Meaning you're not committed to that relationship. When the person is making it clear, I don't believe and I don't love you enough to compromise myself to stay with you, as she said in her own post. Okay, so if my woman, I'm about, she's pregnant, please don't leave. Don't take my unborn child. I'll take care of your child. And she's like, to hell with you, nigga, I'm leaving. What am I supposed to do? Okay, but now so I can move on with my life. Look, here's the divorce papers. You're leaving me. I'm not going to stay here like a damn fool. The Bible says you're not under bondage. Why? Read on. But God has called us to peace. God wants peace in the house. She don't want peace. She wants her belief in white man Jesus to reign in her house over his desire to walk with God as it is written. Okay, that's what she wants. And that's not what the scriptures say. Read on. For what knowest thou, O wife, whether thou shalt save thy husband? Because you have a lot of sisters in relationships where the husband don't want to do nothing, and she thinks, I can save him, I can save him. Read on. Or how knowest thou, O man, whether thou shalt save thy wife? And you have men that are like that also. But he's already seen it clear. She's made it. She's like, you're not telling me what to do. You're not saving me. You need to be saved. That's her attitude with him. I'm going to white man Jesus. Where I could do whatever I want on Sunday. And break all the laws. And live my best life. And that's not fair. That's not fair. And then when she doesn't get her way, she attacks us. We have nothing to do with their relationship. That's not fair. The man been quiet for a whole year. And she's continually going to social media to lie. That's not fair. As you, part of you viewing audience, you've seen, what she's doing is not fair. Read on. But as God hath distributed to every man. Because God distributes your measure of faith and your belief in serving him. Read on. As the Lord hath called everyone. Because this calling is of God. The calling of God is not in Christian lies. Read on. So let him walk. So you walk according to the understanding and the calling that God gave you. And this brother been trying to do that. And she wants to go in a different direction. It's the same thing with Adam and Eve in the garden. God gave instructions. Eve entertained the devil and they got kicked out. So the stipulation for us to be delivered is Revelation chapter 14 verse 4. Could you read that please? Eliza. That's what we're asking. That's why we're doing this. Aliza said, why go public? Why go public? If she really wanted to reconcile with him, why go public? Why go and put the child there crying to embarrass this man and to lie on us? That's hatred, man. That's hatred. That's not love. Read it. The book of Revelation, chapter 14 and verse 4. These are they which were not defiled with women. To get delivered. Stop. Read the verse first. The, read the first verse. verse Revelation, one. chapter 14, verse 1. This is who God is going to gather. Because verse. Adam was defiled by Eve's beliefs. And that's why they were kicked out the garden. Christian church don't teach that. Adam was supposed to correct Eve and say No. That's of the devil. You're entertaining the devil. So God gave us the first example of a weak man that followed his woman. When he, when he pronounced judgment on them, he told Adam, because you listen to your wife, you, your life is going to be, uh, to you go to the grave. Because thou hearkenest to thy wife instead of what God says. You're going to pay. So us now, we're reading the Bible and we're applying. Listen, my wife, she gets stuff in her head. I'm not running with it. That's in Genesis chapter 3. Can you get that scripture? Where the Lord condemned him for listening to his wife. 
She wants to stop following what the Bible does, and she wants him to get on board so much that even with a child growing in her womb, she's like, I'm leaving you, nigga. I'm leaving you for white man Jesus and Christianity and lies. The book of Genesis, chapter 3 and verse 16. Unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband. Your desire is supposed to be what your husband says as long as he's following God. If he's telling you to smoke crack, if he's beating on you, if he's abusing you, he's financially abusing you, you don't, you don't listen to him. You leave. Read on. And he shall rule over thee. Rule over you with the word of God, like he was trying to do in his house. Read on. And unto Adam he said, because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife. Say that for all the men online. And unto Adam he said, because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife. What are the consequences for listening to your wife over God? And has eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee. You went to another source of information other than what God commanded you to do. Keeping the Sabbath day, keeping the new moon, putting fringes on your garment. Keeping this, uh, going to fellowship with other uh, believers. Read on. Saying, thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. What's going to happen to a man that listens to his wife going against God? Cursed is the ground for thy sake. But your dwelling place shall be cursed. So the difference between us and Christians is we read the Bible and we believe it. Now go to Revelation chapter 14. Adam was cursed and got an eviction notice from God. And eventually death came to him. Because prior to that they were in paradise. Everything was beautiful. But because he went against God, curses came into his life. This man now, who did the most honorable thing to take in a woman, take in a child that's not yours. And now she turned that child against him on social media to make him look bad. That's hatred. Hatred. Yo, you can't make this stuff up, man. You cannot make this stuff up. And if y'all just go by what vocab is, is presenting to you, y'all get all into the music, y'all get into the child crying that's not his, you know, my family, they seen it, everybody saw the clip that ASAP said, ASAP said it a year ago because you were lying a year ago. I just didn't contact him because I knew that his love for God was stronger than his love for you. That's why I made the statement I made. You cannot love a woman more than you love God. You're a simp. You're weak. You're not worthy as Christ said. Yo, this is crazy. Yo, bro, I feel sorry for you, man. I feel sorry for you. I really, really feel bad. I'm angry, but at the same time, I'm like, yo, I know what it's like to have someone you love just totally just give you the finger. Especially when you're, you're not selling weed, you're not womanizing you're not doing drugs you just want to apply god's laws and live happily and the woman is just like to hell with you nigga this is horrible this is just this is unbelievable and then that lying dog vocab is just all in there trying to manipulate and twist and play on your emotions and edit video to try to make you look bad damn Go ahead. The book That's right. We need to pray for this man. We need to pray for him. We need to hope that he stays strong in serving God. You're right. That's pure hatred. This is how far the woman's hatred will go. Read it. The book of Revelation, chapter 14 and verse 1. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion. Mount Zion is where we're going to be delivered after the kingdoms of this earth are destroyed. The Lamb is Christ. Read on. And with him, an hundred, forty, and four thousand, having his father's name written in their forehead. Meaning they believe what God says. They believe what the Father says. Read on. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, 
and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung, as it were, a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand. Because they've proven themselves worthy to be in the presence of God. They're in an exclusive place with God. And this is the stipulation to keep that exclusive place. Read on. Which were redeemed from the earth. There are they, these are they which were not defiled with women. Adam was defiled by his woman and he was kicked out of the garden. This woman Bree wants to defile Cornelius. And he, we already read historically what happens when you deviate from what God says to follow a woman. So the stipulation to get back in God's graces is what? Read it again. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb, whithersoever he goeth. Meaning whatever Christ says to do, we do it. Remember that. Read on. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits. The first fruits means you are the best. These are the best men. These are the elite men that follow Christ and stand on what he says. You don't love your mother, your father, your children, your wife more than you love God. That's what it means. That's how you become the first fruits. That's how you become the best. Read on. Being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile. Meaning not what vocab is saying. Vocab is saying guile. Bree is saying guile. She's saying that serving the Bible as it is written is bad. That's guile. Read on. For they are without fault before the throne of God. So what we teach as Israelites is so that we don't get judged by God. Everybody's going to have to stand before the throne of God. And you don't want to be in fault. You just read in her post. She don't want to do no new moon. She don't want to do no feast day. She don't want to keep the Sabbath. She don't want to follow the dress code. She wants to do whatever she wants. So audience, I'm asking you, should he allow that? Put Y for yes and for no. Should he allow her to do whatever she wants to do if it means destruction to his house and to his soul? Y for yes and for no. That's all I want to see. You too, Facebook. Okay, I have not seen one why yet. Because you people are men and women of God. I saw one HN, which means hell no. That's your third option. Okay, so that everybody's clear now. And the lie has been cleared up. We're going to wait for Vocab's lying video to drop. Okay, he has it posted on his page that is coming on the 25th. So now we have this man speaking here because he's been silent for a whole year. While Vocab searches for stuff to try and defame and deter and destroy us. This woman does not want to reconcile. Well, do you want to reconcile with your wife, brother? Yes, sir. Okay, could you say it again for the audience? Yes, sir. Has anybody told you not to reconcile? No, sir. Okay, so y'all got it here. Y'all got to tell Vocab, stop lying, man. This guy is a horrible, disgusting liar. He's in it, and if you're supposed to be a journalist, you're supposed to do what I'm doing right now. Find out, check before you speak and before you lie. This guy is a liar. So, brother, I don't want to keep you all night. Is there anything else you want to say to the audience or say to the people? All right. I thank you for coming on here and telling your side and being truthful. Uh, I'll give you the last word and let you go so I could go and teach the class. Uh, yes, sir. I appreciate it, uh, Deacon. Deacon ASAP. Um, I just want to make one thing clear that um, IUIC is not forcing me to uh, divorce her. My, my sole purpose is to please the Most High God and serve Him. If the sister doesn't want to keep the commandments, she has to be removed just like anybody else. All right? And, and despite all of this, child support moving up far away, she still will not sign the divorce papers. That, that's all I got, sir. Okay, so she's on there now. She moved away from you. You granted her her freedom, and she refused to sign the divorce papers. That's 
a power move against you to break your spirit, to make your life difficult. He's trying to move on with his life, and she's just continuing in strife and putting everything on social media now. This is horrible, man, and this is the stuff behind the scenes y'all don't know about that we got to deal with. We stay shut, and a lot of y'all do video. You've seen these black Hebrew Israelite camps edit video and chop and screw things, and everybody starts to listen to them. Y'all just saw the other day when we had our Passover, how they attacked the bishop. Nobody asked no questions. They just went to social media and started lying because the man was on a horse. If he would have pulled up in a, in a, a, a Maybach, a half a million dollar Maybach, like all these other pastors got, y'all would have, no matter what he came in, y'all would have had a fit. So this is what we have to deal with in Israel United in Christ. People just run with lies, man. This is ridiculous. So there's a lot of people who support you, bro. And oh, 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 she said another thing. Is there anybody else in leadership that has been saying anything about her or getting involved? Because she said that there, and I, I'm the only person that addressed it last year, and I never brought it up again. So do you know what she's talking about? No, sir. The only thing that might have been is uh, they did reviews of it on, uh, like, different, uh, like, the Plantation uh, 2.0. Yes. And what did they review? Uh, the older video that uh, she did. Thank you. That first one. Okay, she went to social media, and again, she put us in a position to have to explain the lies that are being done in that video and the slander that's being done in that video. So, bro, any last words? No, sir. Thank you, um, Deacon Asaf, and uh, Shalom, Most High Christ bless you, sir. Shalom to you, Most High Christ bless. If you need me, you got my number. If you just need support, if you just need comfort, don't uh you 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 follow your heart okay you follow your heart you don't leave her because some man or some group or somebody told you to leave you do what's best for your salvation and for your soul you got that yes sir understood all right bro most high in christ bless shalom and enjoy the shalom. rest of your sabbath shalom happy sabbath most high christ bless So there you have it, audience. Y'all heard his side. You heard the video she did from a year ago when I addressed this. And as I told you before, it's all slander. It's all lies. It's all slander. It's all lies. I spoke to him for the first time today. Okay? And I told him, if you don't want to speak, you don't have to speak. Because I could just do this without you. But I felt it was fair because the first time I commented, I didn't get to speak with him. And it's only right, the scriptures say, you got to hear both sides. And I never knew that that child crying there, talking about, we miss you, was not his kid. Okay? He should be saying he missed his father. He should be saying he missed his biological father. If he was such a bad guy in the house, why is that child that's not his crying saying we miss you? Because there, could it be that the mother coerced him to say that? And no family member was like, look, stop using those children as pawns. This is bad, man. This is what we got to deal with, serving God. And if I was him, I would find the father of that child and let the father know what's going on. Let him know. They're putting your son in videos to try and make me look bad and attack my church. Because who knows wherever her mind will go to. Where, where, where's your dignity? Where's your, you know what, let me not exploit the kids. Let me not put them in a social media war. This is crazy, man. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Now y'all see why we are. We ignore vocab. We don't bring him up. He, but he's been attacking us, and we just saw two lies spoken here about what about a 14. We don't know nothing about no 14-year-old girl. Okay, we don't know nothing about that. got nothing to do with us. But he put some video on his page 
to, uh, to try to push the narrative that this is the common concern. The same way he used that 14 year old girl to lie is the same way he used that thing about uh, Judas Iscariot and say, this is what IUIC teaches. This guy is a liar, man. He's a bold faced liar. He hates black people. He hates them and he will destroy them with lies. That's what the devil means, deceiver. And you, sister, Bree, you need to go back to your husband. Get off social media. Go back to your husband. He said he loved you. Stop trying to strong arm him to go against God. Damn. Yeah, I'm so, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm tossed between being angry and hurt for the brother. But I'm glad things played out this way because if I would have spoke to him before, it took a whole year to, re to reveal how evil she is, how low she will go. Now it shows what he's been having to deal with in the house. Now it shows the extreme that she'll go to after a whole year. Baby's born and she's still thinking, nigga, you're going to do what I say. You're going to do what I say. You're going to listen to me. I don't care about your manhood. I don't care about your desire to serve God. This is crazy. Let's see what the Bible says. Go to Luke chapter 14, verse 26. Vocab is only popular because you people, black people love lies, man. If y'all will all stop paying attention to him and his lies, he, we wouldn't have to discuss him. But y'all listen to his bullshit and you bring it back here. And y'all repeat the lie. Just like y'all remember how the black Hebrew Israelite camps used to do videos against us. They would edit and chop videos up and lie. Primarily GMS. And now y'all don't even know where to find their videos. God shut them niggas down. They were the number one liars on the bishop. And they used to get more views than any other camp. Okay? Every single camp that's out there now was telling they started off from lying on the bishop and attacking the bishop. And I got to view the videos. I saved them. Their foundation wasn't built on truth and teaching the people. They all came out attacking the bishop in lies. The same thing that Vocab is doing is the same thing the other camps did, the same thing Sarnetta doing now. Sarnetta don't know the bishop. And the stuff Vocab got, he got it from GMS. Calling the bishop a megalomaniac. He got that from uh, Gabal. Gabar hate the bishop. Tahar hate the bishop. So Vocab just watch the other Israelite camp slander and then put stuff together and then throw it back at y'all. It didn't work with them. It ain't going to work with you either. That's right. That's not his child. That's right. You witness it. You heard it here. He took that woman in with a child that wasn't his, with a father that's not around, but he hates her so much, and he's trying to destroy her life with Hebrew Israelism. Yo, this is bullshit, man. That's, that's all we could call this, man. That's, that's all. There's nothing else you could put on this. She didn't even stop to think, yo, I love my husband. What about my children's future? So now you're going to pick up with another man with four kids because you already shut this guy down. So now you're going to pick up with another man. You're going to have three baby daddies now because if she's young, another man is going to want to have a baby. She don't even care about her future. Damn. You know what I said to get? I'm, I'm so mad, man. I'm just so mad now. I'm, I'm, I'm torn between mad and feeling sorry for the brother, man. Damn. Read it, please. 
the book of Luke, chapter 14 and verse 26. If any man come to me. If you decide, because she says she's a Christian. And hate not his and, father. And, and white man Jesus saved her. This is what the Jesus of the Bible says. The Messiah with melanin in his skin of color. This white man Jesus don't say this. This is what the Messiah says in the Bible. Read it again. If any man come to me. If you say you want to come and give your life to Christ, read on. And hate not his father. You have to hate your father's belief system if it goes against God. And mother. And your mother's belief system if it goes against God. And wife. And who? Wife. And your wife. You don't listen to her telling you, I don't want to keep the feast days. I don't want to keep the new moon. I don't want to follow God's laws. I want to defile the Sabbath in a place that I choose. Read on. And children. And even your kids. Read on. And brethren. And your brothers who disagree with what the Bible says. And sisters. And your own immediate family. Yay. And his own life also. And you got to hate your life if it goes against what Christ says. Read on. He cannot be my disciple. So you cannot be a follower of Christ. As a Christian, those rules don't apply. You could do whatever you say. Anything goes. It's anything goes. Okay? Christ wasn't compromising, just like this brother wasn't compromising. Because he read his Bible. In Christianity, they don't read. They make things up as they go along. Read on. Is there more? And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. There's stipulations to walk with Christ. And you're going to meet obstacles in your life. And no matter how bad it gets, because I know he misses his newborn. I know he misses his wife. He told me earlier today, Yo, I love my wife. I wouldn't let, because I, I dressed. I was like, bro, you let somebody pull you. He says, no, deacon, that's not true. She don't want to follow God as it is written. And now Vocab has given her a crutch to attack this man. This is sad. You, fi you finally see a man trying to do the right thing, trying to be a husband, trying to be a father to a child that's not his. And you shit on him and embarrass him before the whole world and make his life difficult and use a child that's not his in a video to manipulate and tug on the heartstrings of the public. You should be ashamed of yourself, man. Where's your family? Who raised you? If you hate him that much, just give him the divorce and go on with your life. This is crazy. Read on. For which of you intending to build a tower? Which that's what we're doing. We're helping in God's kingdom. And these are the things you have to look at as you build God's kingdom. Read on. Sitteth not down first and counted the cost. And that's what he's doing. He's counting the cost. Do I listen to my wife who I love or destroy the building structure of the Most High God? Read on. Whether you have sufficient to finish it. You have to check, am I in a place where I have the building materials to continue what I'm building with God? Read on. Less happily, after he hath laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him. And that's what happens to a lot of people in the Israelite walk. They start making mockery of you. Yo, I thought you keep the Sabbath. I thought you don't eat shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster. I thought you don't do Christmas because now someone pulled you back. People mock you. And this is what Christ was saying. You have to hate the ways of your family, your mother, your father, your brother. He said, even your own wife who you love. So that's why I made the statement that his love for God and his son is stronger than his love for his wife. All bets are off when you're testing my love. I'm going to let you know, no, I do not love you more than I love God. And I'm trying to build for God. But vocab think he could isolate my words and put me in a position where I got to defend myself. It's, it will never, ever happen, bro. It will never, ever happen. I will body you and anybody you send. 
Check my resume. Check my track record. Anybody you send, they're going to get destroyed. You think you editing those videos? He's editing stuff of the bishop. He's taking little snippets. Because that's that social media world to get views. World star, you are not the father. That's that Jerry Springer show stuff, man. Or like they do when they want to get you to watch a movie. They put a little preview of it. And then you watch it and there was nothing that, w that it was hyped up to be. I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. Y'all mad fake, man. Read on. Saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish. And he don't want that on him. I'm trying to build my life as the example that the Israelites put forth. And I'm going to finish that building process with or without you. Read on. Or what king going to make war against another king? Sitteth not down first and consulted whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that cometh against him with 20,000. Because this is war. And you have to take an honest assessment of yourself and your resources to see if you're ready to go to war. Her war is to use public opinion and social media against him. His only recourse of action is to put his faith in God that he's doing the right thing. And continue, it's hard to keep loving someone that's attacking you all the time. Imagine how she was in the house. If you're that, you think that a baby in the womb would at least humble you and bring you closer. And you know what? I love my husband. I already have one child without no father. I don't want to put others to no hell. This is the evil of the black woman, man. This is the evil that God is trying to show us that's inside of her. How cruel and heartless and maniacal she is. How malicious she is. How low she will go to. We see in the first hand. And you other brothers, you better take notice. Give me... We're going to come back there. We're going to come back to where you was. Give me Proverbs chapter 14, verse 1. No, finish your scripture, then we'll go to Proverbs chapter 14, verse 1. You, what Christ is saying, look, your first obstacle is going to be your mother, your father, your wife, your, your children, your brethren, and you got to hate their ways if they go against what I stand for. And then you got to count the cost. You're at war. You're building. This is what he's explaining to the people when he said, hate your mother, hate your father, hate your brother, your, your, even your own life and your wife to stand and walk with me. This is a difficult walk to walk with Christ. In Christianity, it's anything goes. Finish reading it, then we're going to go to Proverbs 14 and 1. Verse 32. Or else, while the other is yet a great way off, he sendeth an, an ambassage. And desireth conditions of peace. Meaning you are preparing for war. But you realize you're outnumbered. And now you're like, look, you waving the white flag. Read on. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he hath. You have to forsake all that you have. Forsake all that you have. Don't let a woman who wants to follow a lying religious belief compromise your beliefs. And that's what the brother's doing. And vocab is trying to ridicule and destroy him. And then attack Israel United in Christ for doing that. You are trash vocab. You are an evil man. You are an evil, manipulative, conniving man. And you're trying to act like you're just so into God. And you're so knowledgeable. And listen to me. I'm trying to save you black people. You are an evil, destructive man. Read it again. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he hath. Christ says to forsake all that you have. And he puts in a video that he left his wife 
You a liar, man. She wrote it in the post. And she said it in the video. That Christ delivered her. She packed her stuff and she left. And you think a year later you could just lie. Christ says to forsake all that you have. Read on. He cannot be my disciple. Or you cannot be a Christian, Bree. You cannot be a true Christian if you don't let go of this world. You will not be a disciple of Christ. And that's what your husband did. As a devout father, that's what a true Christian does. Not the lies that you want to live. Yo, this is crazy, man. This is just crazy. This is just right here. She said it's gray. No, it's black and white. It's right here in the Bible. This is not hard. Proverbs chapter 14. Is there more on that before we move on? Salt is good. But if the salt have lost its savor. And that's what you did, Brie. You lost your savor. Oh, read on. There was salt in your marriage, and you don't want to deal with it. Read on. Wherewith shall it be seasoned? You cannot be used to season anything. Your marriage cannot be seasoned. At one point, you love that man. You need to find when you love him and get back to that. Stop listening to lies. Stop destroying your relationship. You already had one failed relationship with a child out of wedlock. Now this man pick you up and marry you, and you tossing him to the side for white man Jesus and lying Christianity and vocab. Read on. It is neither fit for the land, nor yet for the dunghill. But a dung is doo-doo. It says once you lose your savor, once you lose your desire to serve God, you're not even fit to be in doo-doo. I got to bring this out in Clubhouse because they get mad when I say S-H-I-T and the Bible speaks about doo-doo right here. Why are you saying that? Why are you saying that it's bad? Christ used it right here. I forgot that Christ used D-U-N-G. A dung hill is a pile of doo-doo. And in a minute, I'm not listening to you curse. Christ just cursed. Christ just cursed. Because vocab did a video where some idiot came into the class and said, why are you using those cuss words? And I said, go to the book of Nigelations. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. That was funny. Everybody was cracking up that night. Y'all know that was funny. <laughs> okay? But this is how fake Christians are. You'll make up things that's not in the Bible and try to apply it. Read on. But men cast it out. He that have ears to hear, let him hear. It's the end of the chapter, sir. Now go to Proverbs chapter 14, verse 1. The book of Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 1. Every wise woman buildeth her house. And she's wise according to what the Bible says she's going to build her house up. Read on. But the foolish plucketh it down with what their hands. What type of woman? What type of woman? But the foolish plucketh it down with her hands. Here you are. Black woman is saying they can't find no good man. You find a man that want to serve God and take you in with a child that's not yours. And you are plucking down your house with your hands under vocab's commands. Wow. Read it one more time. Every wise woman buildeth her house. But the foolish Plucketh it down with her hand. And she's doing that on social media before the whole world. And we're going to see where she is after she moves on with her life. We're going to see where that child was crying after he moved when he starts saying, where's my real daddy? You, you put that, you left that man that was trying to become a daddy to me. Now I want to see my real daddy. Yo, this is crazy, man. Yo, look, I'm not beating this in the head. I'm, I'm not dragging this. Uh, he got another video coming out. We're just going to wait till that video come out. And I'm going to destroy that video and destroy him again when it drops. I'll take some questions, man. I'm not going to beat this in the head. We already got the truth. It is what it is.
uh, audience, what's your thoughts? What y'all let me let me read some of your comments. Uh, Dub put this group serves themselves, and why are they blasting some relationships all over the internet? Uh, did you just start watching, you idiot, you dumbass? The girl put a video up a year ago and is ready to do another video. And you're saying we're blasting relationships. Are you that stupid? Are you a black person? We're speaking to men and women of God, not black people that want to live lies, live in lies and live in sins and Christianity. Why are you here? Just leave him. I'm going to embarrass him the way I always do. That's just what you call a liar. You just saw all the evidence for yourself, and you're saying we blast the relation. We're supposed to sit quiet and let the woman lie on the man and let vocab lie also. Audience, y'all need to see this with your own eyes. Y'all need to see what we're up again. This is what we got to deal with every day. Is it a sin for a married couple who don't want more kids to use birth control? Well, most of the birth control that they have, Kingsley, is evil. Okay, I'm not putting nothing inside of a woman to stop her. I'm not taking no pills because they destroy her genetic makeup and even the IUDs and the diaphragms. Okay, but um, if you don't want no more kids, you could take precautionary, like for instance, um... I forgot about this. I heard this when I was young, but I know a couple that they measure. Um, there's a certain time of the month that a woman could get pregnant. Just don't have no sex at that time. Okay? You could get, you could look up this, and I'm glad you brought this up. I'm glad you brought this up. I'm glad you brought this up. Scientifically, you could look at the calendar and you can monitor your cycle. And for that time, if you're not, you don't want to have no, uh, children just don't put the penis inside the vagina at that time there's other methods that you guys could do but you know this week i'm fertile that's it okay and no sin no foul no harm no foul if you already have enough kids you don't want no more that's my answer i never found the answer for this until i was i saw another video uh people who were, they went to the doctor or another woman some women are good because their cycle is like clockwork don't know, oh, this day is going to happen. This day, whatever. Okay? You monitor it and take it from there. But that's my answer. Uh, Sean Deacon, I can't figure out the verse that shows the prophets of old use a sign with southern and northern tribes. I think you're talking about Issachar when they knew how to navigate through the stars. You know what that one is, Jan? I think that's what he's talking about. It's an ovulation calendar. That's what it is, Nixus. But I know people who do it, and it works. Okay. No, this is horrible. This right here is crazy. After a whole year, she's still trying to destroy that man. She don't care about nobody. She don't care about them kids. She don't care about, she just want to get her way. Y'all saw this with your own eyes. This is crazy. What will happen when Jesus gathers us in the end? We're going to get the kingdom. Okay? The survivors are going to become immortal because God didn't make us to die. And this is what the fight is for. This is what the brother is not compromising with this woman who wants to go into hell and destruction to live her best life. This is your life. Everlasting life is on the line. Okay, but you seeing what the black woman, you seeing the extremes that they will go to. She don't care. She put that child there to cry. She fixed her hair all nice. She put the close up. She said everything. She woke up, cued the music. She don't care. 
Yes, Desiree, her husband is a good man with a good spirit. Y'all heard it for your own self. Father of that first child never come around is crazy. She probably don't even know who's the dad. Hey, she the one that put her life out there. I wouldn't have never, I would have been like, look, it is what it is. Let me get over my anger and I'm not going on to no social media. And I know I got a child out of wedlock and a man is taking me to marry me. Now, as far as, I'm going to ask you a question, Ara, about the Holy Spirit blasphemy. But um, first, let me just get into these things. But I'm not, hold your question, I'm going to go into it because I'm going to make a big deal out of it. Deacon, she knows her husband is a prize. Hell no, Erica. She don't look at him as a prize. She look like I'm going to find a good Christian man who's going to, I'm going to pick up my life and move on with him. And when he destroys me, I'll just get another one. I'll have five baby daddies. Okay? That's how the black woman think with no shame in her game. Uh, I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you that. Give me Proverbs chapter 30, verse 20. This is how she thinks. The book of Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 20. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. Because she's not committed to marriage. She doesn't mind moving on to another relationship and being labeled an adulterer. She don't have a problem. She's not counting the cost like, yo, I already got four kids. One of them is not with this man. Eventually, she's going to want companionship. So her mind is set on, I don't care if I'm an adulterer in God's eyes. So that's why he's saying that. Read it again. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. This is the behavior of a woman that uh, doesn't mind moving on to another relationship and being labeled an adulterer. Read on. She eateth and wipeth her mouth. She'll eat up. The evil, like it was nothing, and then wipe her mouth, read on. And say it, I have done no wickedness. And that's why she's on his show, on Vocab Shaw. I didn't do nothing wrong. She's not even looking at how she's being viewed, how the kids are going to grow up later on. It says she eat it and wipe her mouth and says what? And say it, I have done no wickedness. I didn't do nothing wrong. The nigga wouldn't listen to me. So I did what I got to do to get what I want. Uh, This probably will get lost in the chat, but is Deacon I Don okay? We're not answering this again, Tony. You're not a regular here. Go back and watch the other classes where we addressed that like 10 times. If something was wrong with him, we would say it here. You're not a regular, and I don't feel we should be addressing that when we addressed it like 10 times for the past how many months? If something was wrong with him, we will make it known to everybody else. So I'm not going to go into that. And if you've been following us as a regular, you would know. That's the most important. The kids are victims in this. She don't care about the kids. She does not care. That child already has to deal with my, the biological father not being around. So she gave the biological father the middle finger. Now she's giving this new man the middle finger. And now a new guy is going to have to come in because eventually she's going to want companionship. All her allegiance right now is to white man Jesus and to vocab Malone. And vocab just using her. Talking about, oh, my family saw the videos. Your family, if they cared about you, they would tell you, stop doing videos. Stop doing videos. If your family cared about you, they would say, stop using the kids as a pawn. So I don't care what your family thinks. If your fam tell your family to, to call us. Tell your family to, to, to do a video too. 
I don't care about your family. I don't care about none of the stuff that you're saying. Using them kids like that. My, my family saw it. The kids saw it. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not vocab Malone. Would you say this is a form of using which? Hell yes, Sonia. Okay. Um, I'm going to prove it. Give me 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 23. This, that's exactly what this is, Sonia. This is witchcraft. 1 Samuel chapter 15, 23. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 15 and verse 23. For rebellion. And that's what she's doing. She's rebelling against following God and her husband, just like Eve did in the garden. Read on. It's as the sin of witchcraft. Because she's diving into another world that has nothing to do with God. Mysticism, spells, for her own pleasure, her own desire, her own lust. Read on. And stubbornness. And she's a stubborn woman to give birth and still go back to vocab. Let's do another video. I got the child. I rehearsed the child. I'm going to let the child cry. Then they search through a song they're going to play while the child is crying. Then they put the title that her husband left. You're a liar. You are a liar. With no shame. She wipe her mouth and be like, I ain't doing nothing wrong. Read it again. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. That's what a witch does. A witch goes to a different power other than the power source of God. Read on. And stubbornness. And usually they do that because they're stubborn. Just like Eve. In the garden, she was in paradise. But Satan was like, yo, let me talk to you for a minute. Hi, Satan. How you doing? No, you should have fleed from the devil. That's what it says. But... Even her stubborn black woman mindset called Satan over and had a conversation with him. The way this woman had a conversation with vocab. She's stubborn and practicing witchcraft. Read on. It's as iniquity and idolatry. She has idols in her heart that go contrary to walking with God. And she wants her husband to get on board. And her husband is standing strong for God. And he's being persecuted and ridiculed by her. You can't make this up, man. Read on. Because thou hast rejected the word and of the Lord. And she rejected, she put it in her own writings. I'm not keeping no feast days. I'm not wearing no fringes. I'm not following no Sabbath. You're going to let me go to where I want to go to worship. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord. Read on. He hath also rejected thee. So you are going to be rejected, Bree. Not me. Don't worry about IUIC. You're not hurting us. I did this for your husband. You're not hurting me. You put me in a video, you are going to make me famous. Okay? If I become popular for the audience, I could change more lives. If your video is successful in destroying me, I've been destroyed for righteousness. And the Bible says to be happy for that. If you're successful in making me be bad, and I get shut down and I sit, the Bible says to rejoice. Either way, I win. Do you, do you idiots understand that? I win either way. It's a win-win for me. You make me popular when I strike back? If you destroy me, I got destroyed for standing strong for the Lord. It is win-win for me. So he has to pay child support even though she is the one who, that's the way this world is, coffee. Okay? That's the way it is. She took the child six hours away, can't see his newborn, and he got to pay. That's the way it is. Y'all block J.B. McDowell. Did y'all block anybody? So why are people lying? Somebody just wrote that you blocked somebody, and I didn't say to block nobody. Stop lying on here. Please stop lying.
It's so sad that she's doing all this to her husband. She wants to live FN free. Just like the song. I forgot how the lyrics go. I'm uh, 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 uh. I'm F-R-E-E. Yes, that's how she, just like them ratchet rappers. If a person has a good reason for divorce, have they blaspheme? No, if the person is in harm's way, we're not telling a woman to stay with a, a man that could, that's destroying her. It tells you that. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10. We don't tell no woman stay in no harmful relationship. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 10. And unto the married I command, yet not I, but the Lord. He said, this is what God says. This is not my own personal opinion. Read on. Let not the wife depart from her husband. She don't care about that. She just is like, bye, nigga. I'm out. Pregnant, I'm out. That's, that's callous. That's just cruel. That's, I don't care about nobody. Read on. But, and if she depart. There may be a reason why she has to depart. He's on drugs. He's abusing her. He's financially uh, destroying the house. He says, but, and if she depart, there may be a valid reason why you got to go. Read on. Let her remain unmarried. But you got to stay single. Read on. Or be reconciled to her husband. Or work things out. And the brother said, y'all, I, I love my wife. Okay, but she's the one that want to be F nigga free. <laughs> Philemon said she'd been drinking Peter Pop off spring water. <laughs> yeah, you be out late night by my spirit my spiritual water from the stream of Jerusalem. It can change your life. And he got it from the, the bathroom sink. <laughs> Deacon since she publicly humiliated him, shouldn't she have to apologize? No. Me, if it was me and I was, I'll be like, look, just Bring your ass home and shut up. I don't need no video. I don't. I, I wouldn't make her do another video and have people in my life. She's doing that because that's what women who don't care. We read Proverbs chapter 14, verse 1. Read it again. That's why she's on video. She don't care about building her house. She has no wisdom of God. She want to do her own thing. The book of Proverbs chapter 14, verse 1. Every wise woman buildeth her house. A wise woman will be like, look, I got a man of God. I may not like the stuff he's doing, but he's not harming me. If he's not beating me or stealing or, or uh, doing things to harm the kids, I'm going to try and build this house. Read on. But the foolish plucketh it down with her hand. She don't care about her house, man. She does not care. She said, I will tear this house down and embarrass you on social media. But she wants to keep him on the chain by not divorcing him. Look, uh, Sananka, there's a God. And I've seen this work out bad for the woman all. It never works out in their favor. I've seen a lot of the women wait up a year, two years, three years, four years. And eventually Satan comes knocking on the door. I, I haven't finished using you yet. And it always goes bad. This is not going to work out good. I got stories I could tell you. He is not the first that this happened to. And those brothers picked up and moved on and lived happily ever after. She just has not got the memo yet because vocab is doing her paperwork. You keep following him and you see how it's going to turn out in the end. Uh, you think she read this being that she claimed to be... Christians don't read the Bible, Erica. <laughs> no, she didn't. I don't think she read it. 
How do I get my family to stop eating seafood? I've shown them the scripture, but they won't give it up. It's not your job, Marcus, to stop them. I couldn't get my family to listen to the scriptures. The scriptures say every man must work out his own salvation with fear and trembling. If they're not afraid, leave them alone. And she will tell you IUIC is wrong about the scriptures. With a bold face, she thinks that by attacking us, that uh, the best thing to do is leave us alone. Don't put our name in nothing. Leave us alone. You're only making matters worse. If it was just you going back and forth with your husband, fine. But now you're just showing how much hatred you have for God. She's just on the internet being clamorous. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knows nothing. Uh... There's a monetary incentive. That's why she's not saying no when vocab emails her. True. Do you, have any of you, there's a woman named Summer... McDowell saying to unlock J.B. McDowell three weeks ago. Summer, you have to contact. I don't know why they locked him. You're telling me now here, and I don't know nothing about it. Okay, you need to contact the people that locked him. I'm going to unlock him, and I don't know what. I don't know if there was any justification. That's not fair. What you're doing now is evil. You're sowing discord. You're coming to me who know nothing about the situation saying, okay, let him in. And without checking with the people who did lock him, that's not fair. Who did you contact, Summer, other than coming here to tell me about something I know nothing about? That's not fair. That's not how you do things. I'm sure if you apologize, they'll be like, okay, put them back on. Which I've done here. I block people. They tell me, look, I apologize. I let them back in. But don't do it this way. It discredits your uh, your credibility. No one gets blocked right. I block people and I let them back in. I don't like blocking nobody. I'll block you if you're disrupting the class, but I'll let you back in. Okay? Uh, what does the word repented mean in Genesis? To have a change of thought. I told my mom about the Sabbath. She says, I hear you because I rest on Sundays. In my mind, I was like, what the hell, mom? No, that's something that your mom made up. The Bible says six days work, seven day rest. Six days work, seven day rest. Just because the society has deemed Sunday as a day of rest, the scriptures say, love not the world nor the things thereof. It's just like the woman who says, oh, these are women's pants. Can you show me women's pants in the Bible? Society made women's pants. There's no such thing as woman's pants in the Bible. And a lot of you like to view this, uh, your walk with God based on a world that God is going to destroy. Just because society said, no, this day of rest is Sunday, you have to say, does the Bible say that? I'm not uh, doubting uh, Summer McDowell what you're saying. I'm saying I don't know about it. I may contact the people who banned you, and they're like, no, that's not why it was. What class were you in? Who blocked you? How about that? Who was teaching when you got blocked? Yes, that would be a good class. We would have to hold on to our seats. Great idea. Applewood or hickory wood chips? Not sure what that means. Deacon, if God going to raise the dead first, what about the body that was cremated? You never see, heard of Christ bringing people back from the dead? You never heard of when, when Christ died and the temple was rent, people came out of their graves whole? You're asking about things that are above your pay grade. God knows how to bring them back. Uh... Yeah, because you are not, uh, Deacon, in the next couple of years, they'll say, yes, you're right, Ezekiel, that's a good one. This is a man's dress. 
if 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 Chanel or Versace or 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 Gucci or Louis made a, a dress and they said this is for men, you'll be like, hey, this is a man's dress. Those people are not of, of God. And you people should be ashamed. You women should be ashamed saying these are women's pants. Show me where in the Bible that they had women's pants. That's how evil you are and how much y'all love this world. You can't make this stuff up. This is a this is a man's dress. You know which designer made this? Is that designer in the Bible? No. This is the number one designer in America. This is from London. This is from Paris. Do you see the lights on the side of my man's dress? ISUPK teaches women can wear pants. Hey, if they found a scripture to justify it, I haven't seen it. You know? They, they call us gay because we put fringes on our shirt. How about that? Which, and we ask for the scripture for that, and they don't have it. They make things up on the fly. Uh, so look, I don't want this class to be long. It's 4 o'clock. And I'm going to cut things short. I just wanted to go over this to prepare for the lies. Um, like I said to you guys, thanks for your support. Thanks for the help, you brothers and sisters that send me stuff on um, PayPal. I didn't forget you. Uh, I thank you for whatever you've been sending, whatever you send in the mail. Uh, my email should be active again. I settled my issue with... Microsoft. Um, I'm going to let you guys go because I wanted to keep this video short and to the point. And I wanted the whole world to be able to hear it, share it. I need you to share the videos. I need you brothers and sisters to be on Clubhouse. I need you brothers to be aware. You are our line of defense as vocab tries to lie. The reason why they couldn't take Christ is because the people had support of him. Eventually, they turn public opinion away, and that's what vocab is trying to do. Okay? So you people supporting us is what's strengthening us. Most High in Christ, blessed to you. Happy Sabbath and Shalom.